Welcome to the Wizards of Ecom, your no-fluff playbook for online success. Each episode is fully packed with actionable tactics you can implement in your business right now. Take your life to a higher level and excel in your online success. It's time to work on you and your business. Let's do this. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Wizards of Ecom. My name is Lainey, and I'm going to be your host for today. We have an awesome guest and a very special friend, Alina. Alina Weig. Hi, what's up? <laughs> Hi, so happy to be here with you. I'm so happy to have you on the show. Thank you Ali. for having me. Yeah, my absolute pleasure. A short intro about you. Um, you are the founder of AZ Rank. Uh, you've presented also uh, for our Wizards group uh, last year, if I recall correctly. You've also been on the podcast uh, already with Carlos, and this is the second time on the podcast. But yay! Uh, yay. <laughs> How would you <laughs> present yourself in Two sentences. Oh, you're already starting with surprises. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I don't know. I think I... Um... Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm counting. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're counting already. Come on. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm just, uh, I'm just Alina. Um, I'm just an um, e-com girl, I guess. And uh, I try to be positive every day. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Alina, the reason I wanted to have you on the show, um, let's get serious, right? Um, for the second time, besides the fact that you are uh, an amazing human being and you are like amazing, and I'm also working you. with you uh, on a few pet projects, right? Yes. You are also a seller. So, you can tell or see things from a seller's point of view, not only offering your services as a ranking service, but also a seller, right? And uh, yeah. since the previous episode with Carlos, it was um, quite advanced, I might say. I feel that most people uh, would not admit how little they know about ranking. And they might know, but like partially, like they have partial truths, you know, and uh, or some people might understand exactly what's, what's going on, who know SEO and who, who understand the Amazon algorithm, right? But yeah. for those who don't know, and they have this fear of asking, I am today going to make, I'm making air quotes like, ask the stupid or ask the uh, very easy questions, you know? And uh, sometimes those are mo the most important. Right, right. Because yes. if, if you're missing those, you have no, like, there's no foundation. How would you know the other stuff, right? Yeah. So I'm going out on the limb today. I'm going to ask those questions. Alina, are you? prepared and ready to educate my curious self <laughs> let me have a zip of water i'm nervous already i wasn't before like <laughs> yeah it's fine it's fine you know like uh, there, there's a saying like uh, being purified by fire these are fire questions so <laughs> making you even more nervous no yeah no yeah, i'm no, fine I let's know. go <laughs> so alina what is ranking what is ranking? That's the best question ever. Some, um, some of, even the most, uh, some of the most uh, bigger sellers I've, um, I've heard or uh, seen on several, you know, um, media um, channels uh, have different understandings and different uh, opinions about what ranking is. In my personal opinion. Um, ranking means putting your product in front of as many eyes as possible on whatever platform that is, because ranking doesn't mean only Amazon. Uh, it's e-com in general. If we are referring to Amazon, then yes, bring your product to page one, position one, if possible, on as many keywords as possible. Got it. Got it. And something else like, what are some red flags that most people miss when shopping for ranking services? Oh, okay. <laughs> this is a hard one. <laughs> Killing you right now, slowly. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm going to make a, a little intro because um, I just want everyone to understand this as better as possible. Um, this is not... I mean, getting your product in, in front of these people's eyes, in front of the buyer's eyes, so getting it on page one can be done in several ways. Mm -hmm. Some of them are 100% uh, uh, white. Some of them are 100% black. 
and white and black uh, hats, is, we know yeah. what that is. Yeah. Um, some of them are in the middle, light gray, dark gray. I That's the shades I, <laughs> I like to use when, when the describing. The 50 shades of gray, right? <laughs> 50 shades, yeah. I, I, we can have 50 for sure. All right. Now, um, there are a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, you know, uh, border lines, uh, thin lines between going from white to black or for gray, from gray to black. As long as we're keeping it uh, decently um, uh, in where it has to be, I mean, in the light gray area, uh, and we're talking here about ranking through uh, search find by and uh, additional services that we do, but in the same area, then we should be fine. As long as we're, you're heading towards reviews, um, gathering reviews, uh, using ranking and gathering reviews or, I don't know, misleading people, um, presenting, um, um, telling lies. Yeah. Um, to speak. Uh, the clickbaiting truth. people. <laughs> yes, clickbaiting people. Got it. Totally, yeah. totally true. Then you can raise red flags. The problem is nobody actually knows when are you getting those red flags because if you are notified by Amazon that you're in trouble, then it's a little too late. So mm -hmm. that's why it's very, very important to play safe. That's, mm -hmm. that's my opinion. That's the way we uh, do things here. And that's the way this, this business was built, uh, playing safe. And that's the way sometimes I, not sometimes, uh, mostly always refuse um, offering, refuse moving our services into an area that can get you into trouble. Yeah, I guess also if you are getting someone into trouble, you're getting yourself into trouble as well because you of are, course. it's yes. your audience who's being connected to that. Yes, that it's, it's everything is, is like, you know, like a snowball effect and it's just, you know... Um, as Amazon itself, because I can say that this uh, can easily be called an Amazon, it can be easily be an, uh, one of Amazon's definitions. Nothing is sure. There are no guarantees. There are no um, um, definitions uh, specifically for, uh, for what is a red flag, for how Amazon algorithm works, mm. and for how products get ranked like an exact formula. But uh, doing uh, everything as better as you can do and playing uh, safe, as I said, it's it's the right way, I think. I mean, without taking too, too many risks because, yeah, I know risks, uh, big risks, big wins, but sometimes, you know. Yeah, sometimes the risk, it's, it's worth it, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, totally agree right. with it. Is there any difference between launching... Uh, product or, or the way how you're ranking? Ranking a new product versus a product that's been for months or maybe for years there? Yes, there is a big one. Uh, there is a, a concept that uh, I'm sure everyone, everyone has heard of called, called um, product honeymoon. Mm -hmm. uh, that that uh, period of time which we think <laughs> lasts about uh, four to six weeks nobody knows for sure again but uh that from our testing that's what we've seen um so those six weeks called the honeymoon the first f four to six weeks of a product's life and that starts at the moment that you have your listing live mm -hmm. on amazon uh it's the most powerful for ranking and the, ex the explanation is quite simple and i if you allow me i would very much like to say it because a lot of people don't understand it and uh it's actually quite simple that product has no history mm -hmm. the algorithm doesn't know where to put it doesn't know what to do with it got it uh once you start ranking it once once you start doing actions for that product even if it is um optimization listing optimization after maybe one week or two weeks you've decided to change something and add some more keywords uh, ppc um ranking with uh, uh, our type of services then 
you build that history and then you tell Amazon, like I like to say, you tell Amazon who you are. Got it. From, from that point on, you build that history. Now, if you come to me uh, or try to relaunch a product that has been out of stock two times in a year mm -hmm. and had some low uh, period or maybe the listing has been uh, shut down by Amazon, that's mm -hmm. history again. But that's bad history combined with good, good history. But you have to rewrite that history in order to get back to telling Amazon that you are good again. It. And that you need, and uh, the, that uh, they need to show you, uh, you as in your product, to the buyers again because your uh, your product is good. So, may I ask here a, a quick follow up that actually it's not on the list. Um, you were saying <laughs> <laughs> beside the twenty questions of my list, you know. Okay. So uh, you you were saying that somehow you have to rinse it. Is there like the way? Like um, my mind works is like like muddy water, and then you're tr like putting clear water until it's clean enough. Is that the way yeah. there or the, okay, got it. Yeah, that's, that's a very good uh, comparison. Yeah, that's, that's the thing because it's, it's, I don't know, like, um, it's difficult. It's like sometimes uh, can be, um, no, <laughs> I'm better leaving it at your comparison because it's, it's the, it's the best one that doesn't uh, come anything to mind right now. Simplest one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just. Once it's, it's like, I don't know, like when you're in a bad mood, for example, someone, mm -hmm. anyone is in a bad mood, you mm -hmm. need to do things in order to get to your good mood again and to work properly again. And may All I add there, if, if you're adding too much good or too much happy or something, it will be like, ah, oh, that's not, you know. Or yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that would be the red flag in, in Amazon world, you know, like what's happening? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the red, the red buttons. Yeah, start yeah, yeah. lighting up. <laughs> Got it. Amazing. Um, have you finished what you wanted to say? Because I just yes, I think you. so. Yeah. All right. Amazing. What common mistakes do you see um, sellers are making when they first collaborate with you? For example, they have realistic and unrealistic expectations. Common mistakes. What do you think? How, how much time do I have? <laughs> um yeah let's let's go no. for it <laughs> let's no, go I'm for joking. it i'm, I'm not <laughs> let's go for it uh no the, uh, the there aren't so many actually because um you know the the business model is is quite quite simple in the roots itself mm -hmm. so uh i would say um too high expectations uh in terms not of the ranking but in terms of the product and this is valid for new sellers. Some of them might hate me for this, but I, I rather, I'd rather tell the truth because I always do. And I always tell them, uh, my clients as well. I've been there with my first product, which was a, a, fa a failure. Um, I thought I had the perfect product. And uh, when I when I'm going to open the listing, everyone was waiting for me and they're going to jump and buy and you know, uh, I'm going to be drinking mojito on a beach in no time. That's not true. 80% of the cases or more, it's not true. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of, a lot of everything um, before you can uh, totally say that you have a great product. First of all, um, a big mistake, I think it is, that uh, sellers focus what on what they like and not what on what uh, the audience, the buyers, the um, you know the buyer persona actually wants. Or they fell in love, thing. falling in love with your own product without like listening to. Them. Okay, got it. Yes. Got it. Then, in terms uh, of ranking um, um, and also expectations, getting page one, position one on hundreds of keywords with uh, giving away five units in five days. And there you go. Magic happened. Mm -hmm. It's not like that. Even if the niche is uh, small or at the beginning yet, or, you know, it's, it's still a big competition and it's a big ocean over there. Yeah. And also I, I'm going to say this one and stop. Um, 
going after uh, two big keywords, two, two big, uh, when I say big keyword, I mean um, very competitive, very Highly searched volume. for mm -hmm. with, with, uh, with uh, big search volume mm -hmm. from the beginning with the new product. We don't recommend that. Uh, it's, you know, it's like going to a battle without your boxing gloves. You need to, you know, to prepare to fight with the big fishes in the top, uh, in the top pages. So you need to, to build up a little bit. Got it. Got it. By the way, I was looking at the, I also have a timer. So everyone knows how, <laughs> how we do this, how professional we are. Um, oh, no, you're fantastic, <laughs> I swear. <laughs> you know that this is going to be live, right? <laughs> Yeah, and I know. it's not not going to be edited either. So, welcome. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um, you were talking about a competitive niche. Uh, does it depend? Like, is it a different strategy for a very competitive niche versus a not so competitive niche? Yeah, most of the time it is, but um, there are a lot of factors uh, to be taken in, into consideration. I mean, it's it's very product specific because two competitive niches can be also very different. You can you can go and find a um, very competitive niche, but with a ton of other key, a ton of keywords that you can you know maybe uh, find between those something good for you that you can easily rank and you know start getting some traction. Um, Or it can be a very competitive niche with just I've, I've seen niches with just one huge keyword and all the rest were were like not existing. I mean, you could be position one on on all of them, but wouldn't have brought you to to many sales. So those are big differences in terms of ranking because um, the strategy must be build differently may, may uh, i ask there alina like because you were saying for for me it's like because you were saying it's one keyword it's like highly search but that's all Could, would you mind like giving like examples uh it was in the vitamins um i don't remember the name it was a i i can't pronounce it actually <laughs> some, some, some vitamin uh no there were there were other keywords but um not super 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 relevant let's say and very very low search volumes like uh the, I, i remember the difference was like the the biggest one had like 50,000 search searches per month mm -hmm. and i had like um 100 others or 80 others with all of them below 500 500 searches the first thing that comes to mind is like most people when they're do doing product research and amazon is dominating a lot like five six competitors are dominating and the rest like two three sales so something yeah. similar to that i yes yes i think it's also a little new so probably um uh, if we're gonna look Uh, six months from now, we're gonna see some some other um, players there, and maybe maybe demand increases. Uh, you, you know, I you, I can't know all of that. Uh, there are a lot of you know trending products and even vitamins, uh, even supplements and stuff like that. There, are, you know, people are um, changing their way of taking vitamins instead of gummies now the trend is capsules or instead of liquid now it's gummies and stuff like that so uh, people launching that no <laughs> so it's get it, uh, get it. it makes it's sense. an advantage that makes sense so may i may i just go out on the limb there and say that most of the time also when you're bringing a very new product that's also like a similar to, to this because you actually don't have keywords for it. It might be like, it's amazing. And it might be also that people are not searching for it. So. You mean a new product that doesn't exist in correct. Amazon? Correct. Yes. I mean, keywords wise. Yes. That's, that's a challenge. <laughs> Big one. What, what would you do in that case? Um, usually try, I try to recommend to go um, on, um, on, on, 
similar products because you usually address a need or solve a problem with that new product. So you, you try to go in that direction to see um, some keywords there that maybe include, you're never going to find your keywords. So you, you just have to create them. You just have to teach people to, uh, to learn about that product and to, to, to search it, to, to want to buy it. But first of all, you need to build the keywords. And how you build the keywords, you go to similar related products, but solving or trying to solve similar pro problems or maybe that problem as well, but in other ways and try to rank there, see what happens. If some of those keywords bring you sales and you start you start um, Ranking. getting traction, then you're on the right direction. If not, you need to search some more. It's, it's um, a lot of creativity needed here, if you ask me. I mean, um, you cannot do a regular keyword research on a, on a totally new product because you have nothing to search for. Yeah, you have basically. no comparison. Yeah, yeah no, nothing to analyze, nothing to look. So it's like, you know, like Amazon was many years ago when there weren't any tools. Many like Walmart ago. is today. Yeah. yeah, and Etsy. But as a matter of fact, <laughs> we are mastering yeah, that. I, for Etsy, there are a few. <laughs> there for are Etsy, few. there are a few. But for Walmart, there's nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Whoa. And what do you do? How do you like what's like? It's like guidance. You're, you're blindfolded. <laughs> it's actually it's actually pretty interesting. I like it. I love it. <laughs> you like know, the, the adrenaline to see what happens. Let's, uh, I'm going to try this. Did it work? Seems yeah. like it did. Let's, let's try again. Did it work again? Yeah. So it's good. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> the third time, big failure. Oh, actually it didn't work. Oh, let's do something else then. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> love it love it uh, to, just to add something to, to what you were mentioning would you also like for example let's say a brand name we just create you create a brand name it's not existing on the market right it's co completely new would you have the same strategy for example the mug let's say it, it, it's like meow or never this is the brand meow or never there you go it's not our merch or our product <laughs> full disclosure <Yes. laughs> but let's say it's it's going to be meow or never uh, i don't know Uh, mug like 500 milliliter i don't know how much it is i will put it down <laughs> to that <laughs> even more like um, um let's get back to it okay so <laughs> uh, start over, let's, please. Let, let's start over okay let's get back right where for where for we begin so the brand name it doesn't exist so would you like associate it with keywords that already have a certain uh, search volume or it's like related to your product would that be also a strategy for something that doesn't yes, exist yes. that's that's uh, something that i i tried say to say but if it wasn't clear now you you've said it better so that's one one uh, way keywords that related to uh, to your product and then um looking at uh, products but not similar products i mean similar like what they look or uh, what they are but what they do you know in terms of usage for uh, and get some keywords from there i don't know what do you know a new product <laughs> i don't <laughs> i do our this. product this is like i'm also asking for the audience and also for us for us like the product that we're going to launch in two months There is nothing like that on the market. It's just like one, it's glossy, the other one, it's matte. But no one is selling the matte version and we have no clue why. Is it because people are not looking for it or is it because it's too expensive to make it? Because it's expensive to make it, you know? And we also had the Pickful um, testing and people want it. So 80% of, of 100 people wanted it, you know? And it's like... Mm -hmm. You know, is there a real, real, really good market for it or people are not aware of it, you know? And this is why I was asking, like, how would you do in that scenario as well? Like, because I'm sure we're going to talk more. We're going, <laughs> we're going to talk more. It was like, are you going to help us? She's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, uh, am I going to help you? <laughs> good. No. I just shoot myself in the foot. But you know what I mean? Like, sometimes you, you don't know. It might be a genius idea or also it might be something yeah. that's actually not required or... People know why they are not selling it, you know? So this is why. And it's also, if you ask me, it's, you don't have to, you don't need to rush this product because 
because um, maybe, I mean, it's difficult, in my opinion, to compare launching a totally unexisting new product mm -hmm. to a regular launch. When you will have, for a regular launch, you are expecting sales in day one, either PPC or, I don't know, whatever uh, other uh, strategies you've had, but you are mm -hmm. expecting sales in day one. Yeah. Okay, day two, let's say. With a totally new product, you might not have those. And it's it might be normal not to have them because nobody knows about it yet. Mm -hmm. And until you uh, learn the algorithm, you're, you're also going to have uh, indexing problems because the algorithm won't uh, know where to locate you and where to you know what keywords what exactly are you selling because yeah. it's uh, ai so they they learn from what they had but if they didn't have this that's that's why i think it's better to go with what problem that does that product solve so who would need that okay i'm going to buy a bottle of water because i'm thirsty i'm going to go to those people try to to figure out what they would be searching for got it and got of it. course probably low volumes but that shouldn't be an issue with got, any it. Product. got it totally agree. it's funny that you say that because also like for example a pickful there was there was a glossy and there was a matte version and people were saying what i like about it is people were saying i would prefer this because it doesn't reflect light i would prefer this because it would reflect light so it would prevent for it's a cat product for my cat for going there or whatever so it was like you know you didn't even thought about that you just wanted to have something that it's like used differently and people were coming and were giving you actually hints of what your product is used for actually or how they mm -hmm. perceive you know so yeah i totally agree with, with what you were saying if you ask me um I don't know, it's just a comment, maybe it doesn't apply uh, in all of the situations, but, you know, as, I don't know the, the exact percentage, but um, the big majority, the, the largest majority of products uh, sold on Amazon are manufactured in China, and uh, Chinese people like glossy, Yeah, they don't like matte if yeah. we are taking this comparison so because i've now i i've tried to find some silk matte poly bags mm -hmm. it was like uh, i don't know some precious stone or something nobody mm -hmm. was having or making them because they're not used to you know they they like to sell glowing glossy sparkling bright colors yeah and if they don't have that in their offer maybe yeah some nobody thought that matte even existed that's a really good point Getting, getting back to, to that idea you were mentioning about your product, the, the first product, your first private, uh, private label product that actually ended be, being a failure. Yeah. With what you know now, Alina, would you be able to make it work? I don't think so. Why? Because it's a, it's a, it's a high... I'm losing Just a second. I don't know uh, what would be... It's a design niche. It's a design niche. It's it's milestone blanket. So the product was milestone blanket in okay. the baby category. Okay. And um, I was a um, um, recent mom at that point with with uh, that mentality, and I was a lot in uh, a lot of groups and communities and uh, with pregnant women or recent moms. So I know how picky and how you know they click your um, ad uh, thirty times. To to look at uh, that uh, shade of blue is it uh, darker or is it uh, lighter or stuff like that just you know just an example short parenthesis dear cat moms are the same they are going to find every detail that it's wrong about your product and just <laughs> and parenthesis there you go <laughs> yeah because it's it's design it's design yeah. niche and i i don't know maybe actually i don't think no I think nobody ever asked me this before and I never thought about this if I were to launch that product again. You're welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but at this point, I don't really want to <laughs> go into design niches. I find them uh, hardly, uh, I, I find them hard and uh, very, you know, you need to, to, to be 
on top of everything. And sometimes, I, I mean, at that point, a few good years back, um, there were a lot, a lot more of black, uh, black tactics um, allowed and mm-hmm. or somehow allowed. Mm-hmm. So it was even more difficult. I don't know now, to be honest with you, I haven't looked at that niche in quite some time. So I don't know what's happening over there, but I don't know. It's, it's just not my thing with the design niches. Mm-hmm. I'd, I'd rather not. <laughs> I mean, for, for for this textile uh, thing for baby, let's let me repeat that for baby. Got it. Got it. Um, Alina, the last yeah. question for you: Like, have you ever happened that you were unable to uh, rank a product for some reason? If so, what was the reason? The answer is yes. Okay. And uh, there weren't many. But uh, usually two, two main reasons. One of them, it has a backstage or backend or um, something that cannot be controlled by the seller, an issue. Uh, and in, this situa- in these situations, uh, the, the keywords aren't indexing like n- almost no keywords. Like, for example, when you were running a Cerebro on that specific case and you were, were to find like 20 keywords indexing and that's all. And that is a problem that uh, usually uh, the item key, uh, the item key type. I mean, the, the category, the browsing node was uh, not there, or or was wrong, or it was just a glitch in Amazon, and they had to be um, refreshed. But could be done only by them in in uh, seller support. Got it. So we've had this, a few situations like this, but uh, after the the problem was solved. Mm-hmm. It went good. Uh, and then we have had a couple of situations where we didn't rank because um, there were too, too few giveaways mm-hmm. made um, or the, um, the strategy wasn't uh, correctly chosen. And th- this brings me again to what I was saying before about going after two uh, big keywords too early Got it. the ranking happened up to one point and then just dropped and never recovered because the algorithm say hey you know something's not right here Got it. And just that was it and so on- yes it happened and it happens it can happen i don't know how many cases i never counted them but um, I probably should because it's important, you know, like uh, statistics or percentage. Mm-hmm. Most of the time it goes well, but uh, just, you know, <laughs> like uh, uh, parenthesis here, um, we always tell people and there were sellers that listened to us and were sellers that didn't listen. When I told, when we told them there, you have a problem with your listing, fix that first and then come ranking because you, you're just spending your money for nothing. Would they listen? Some did, some didn't. Just life. <laughs> yeah. On the flip side, I think that's like, did you have also like wins? What was the biggest win that you have a client? Like to, you know, they were nowhere and you have them to. Yeah, that's on a daily basis. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I call it catitude. You call it just being Alina. All right. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> I, yeah, I think I, I must think of a name like that. I love Cadet. Yeah, Cadet did, and that became the niche. So, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Super. To be respectful of your time, I have That's some a- quick fire questions. Did I say that? Quick fire? Yeah, I said it right, actually, to wrap up the session. Uh, what's your best uh, under $50 purchase you recently made, and why? Under $50. Oh, I got myself a hoodie mm-hmm. <laughs> with, with Mickey Mouse on it. <laughs> Look it's at her. Black, <laughs> it's, a black, it's, it's a black oversized uh, hoodie with, uh, with a super cute white um, Mickey Mouse on it. Yeah. I, I don't do uh, a lot of... I don't have time to go shopping. <laughs> so I didn't purchase much, except, you know, for kids' toys and stuff like that. But... Yeah, I, I hope you hear the gentleman. Not all women are very into shopping. So <laughs> there's... <Yeah. laughs> 
Good to know. Good to know. Um, your three favorite books and why? Three favorite books. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. One of them was, uh, I mentioned it in um, Carlos' uh, podcast, was uh, Traction by Juno Whitman. Whitman? Sorry. Uh, it's a business book and uh, I totally recommend it to um, anyone, even if you don't apply that specific system in the book, but it's very, very helpful for you as a person, as, as an entrepreneur, basically. My uh, all-time favorite book is a Romanian book. I don't know how to translate it. Don't translate uh, it. I speak Romanian. We are trying to make it work. Let's see. I know. Cireșari. Oh, okay. Well, that's hard to translate. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is like, a, it's very specific. Okay. But can you like describe of... of yeah, there, of there were uh, the story about uh, a group of friends uh, who were living on the Cherry Street. And uh, they were uh, basically called, um, let's say, the Cherry Knights. It's like the Cherry uh, Chevaliers. Uh, I think that would be a, a good translation. And it's a, it's a child, not children to teenage uh, uh, book, but uh, has like five volumes, I guess. Uh, all kind of adventures they go to, and uh, they go to the mountains they go to the seaside they go to you know solve um, mysteries um, have adventures they remain uh, locked in on the mountain stuff like that i read it like i don't know 50 times that my, sounds... my father was was threatening me i remember he was <laughs> telling me if you're not leaving that i mean i was reading others but i always had those and uh, i think i don't know 10 years ago i was married here and he sent me a package because they live in in, in a different city far away send mm -hmm. me a package and he has bought me the new collection Ooh. <laughs> of the five volumes and sent them over. <laughs> okay and the third one it has to be a third one just so you know <laughs> yes yes i know <laughs> I know, I know you're not giving me. I'm trying to uh, not giving to you an easy time, and now I'm just talking, so at least you can like think some more and think some more. No, I think I liked. Um, it's a book called uh, Raising Cain. It's uh, written by uh, two American psychologists. I honestly don't remember the names, but I. It's always on my um, on my. Um, help me out here night shelf yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a it's actually it's helping you understand the emotions and um, emotions of young boys and I have a son who's nine mm -hmm. and um, I find I found it so interesting but not only for you know for a parent mm -hmm. and for a boy's parent but for you know for understanding men for understanding life for understanding relationships it's very interesting i totally recommend it to you as well awesome thank you so much so did i have it right it's raising cane like C raising cane i think there's a movie with the the this uh, same name but has nothing to do with the book raising uh, cane is c-a-i-n like in romanian right yeah okay kind mm -hmm. okay found it great um yeah, the three books. Is there anything else that I should have asked and I didn't ask you? Mm, I won't tell you that because even if I knew, I want to come back on your podcast again. <laughs> you sneaky. I love it. <laughs> All right, then. The By the one. way, did you see my T-shirt? I didn't show it. Let me see. So, Oh, my, look at that. So everyone in the audience who's like listening to this, she has a cat. With, yeah, I have a cat wearing glasses. <laughs> wearing glasses. That's a badass cat. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm allowed to say that's not the podcast. It's, it's okay. It's going to be irritated, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alina, how can people get a hold of you and your services that you offer? 
if they want just want to talk to me they can find me on facebook on and instagram with my name alina mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. and um if they want to uh, reach out to us for our services, they can also contact me or email, uh, not email, just go to the website first. I think it's easier. It's azrank.com. It's azrank.com. And uh, contact us. We'll, we'll get, we, we usually answer all emails in 24 hours. So. It sounds amazing. And I think that I also got a coupon code from you. Yes, maybe. Yes, yes, <laughs> it yes, was yes, like, yes, do yes. you have a coupon code for us? Like, I, just a second, I'm going to make it right away. <laughs> you know, <It> like amazing. <laughs> yeah, for you and especially for you, it's going to be Cats 10. Oh, man. So Cats 10, but careful because this, this is for the Wizards community. Oh, so everyone has to write <laughs> Cats 10. I love it. So <laughs> there you go. Cats 10. <laughs> loving it and that they're gonna get 10 percent. yeah they're gonna get... <laughs> that sounds amazing um thank you so so much once again for your time this was amazing i was saying i, I love to have this air quote again stupid questions or newbie questions because this is how people are learning we don't have the fundamentals we don't understand what they are dealing with and this that's the most most yes. easiest way to fail not understanding what you're dealing with and just throwing darts in the into the abyss you know so into the darkness yeah into the abyss, darkness there you go so Alina, thanks so much once again for being the podcast and to our wizardly community make sure to chime in next wednesday because i'll be back much love <laughs> bye-bye it was fun sharing bye. this episode with you if you found value in what you've heard please show your love with a subscribe rate and a review of the show until next time